Hi, I'm Sarah Camille Soltani Isley, and this is my painting, The Eternal Covenant. I wanted to make a video about this painting because this painting actually means quite a lot to me. My hope for each painting that I create is for the spirit to speak to them on a personal level through my artwork. Because when I create and when I paint, that's what happens to me is God speaks to me on a very deep and personal level. So I wanted to share this one um, because I created this painting, um, well, what it was before, back in 2010, maybe start of 2011, and I called it The Forgotten Bride. Throughout my 20s, I kind of was very ashamed to say that I was divorced. And when I painted um, The Forgotten Bride back in 2010, 2011, it was just... Um, coming out of that season of going through a really, really rough divorce. The marriage was very, very fast and it was my first Christian relationship and it became very religious, very controlling. Um, and I went through a really hard season of feeling so much shame for being a woman. I, um, and I, I know there's many women that can relate to this that maybe have come away from church because of this. It was really hard because a lot changed for me in that relationship. Back then, I just, I completely lost who I was. It was, it was a really rough time. I ended up running away and doing everything I could to get out of the marriage. And in late 2010, we were divorced after six months of being married and a certain number of months of being separated. That was also the time that I really started to paint and discover that God isn't a God of religion, but a God of relationship. And in my paintings, I began to hear from him. He began to speak to me. And this is the year that my prophetic art truly started. When I painted The Forgotten Bride, it was because God spoke to me through a specific verse in Isaiah 54. I actually published The Forgotten Bride in my book, Kisses of Eden, with the verse. And I remember painting the forgotten bride and just seeing myself as that lost bride in the woods, um, not really knowing who I was anymore, but continuously choosing to look up and to just seek his face. I was actually facing a lot of rejection at the time, and that was really hard to walk through, but God was my everything. And it was honestly a very bittersweet season because although I had all this rejection coming at me walking through that divorce, I had some very intimate times with God that I will cherish forever. The Forgotten Bride never sold um, and I really did cherish that painting because it was so meaningful to me and it just kind of sat in my studio for many years and I just felt like I needed to return to that painting. So I brought the painting down and although it was an acrylic painting to start with, I began to go over it with oils. So I began to see things in the trees and put some faces in there to represent God as my mother and my father, but also my connection to the earth in which he created us from and um, the light inside of me that you can kind of see resonating um, from this painting. Like in the bride itself, you see that she actually carries a light and it's kind of illuminating the tree behind her. This year marks 10 years since my divorce. Exactly, actually. Um, it was in December of 2010. Um, so, and I, I just realized that. So I've just finished this new painting, which is no longer The Forgotten Bride, but now it is The Eternal Covenant. And I named it this because when I went back to that verse, um, Isaiah 54, the title of it in my Bible was The Eternal Covenant. And so I just thought that that name for this painting fits so well with what I was feeling and hearing in the spirit as I created it. No longer the forgotten bride, but now knowing where I am inside the eternal covenant. Never forgotten but I just had to find myself again. I really feel the walk with Christ is one of the heart. It is one of healing, constant transformation. As the Bible even says, that we are constantly being renewed 
and transformed into his likeness. And so I just want to encourage you all to be patient with yourself, to be kind to yourself, and just keep your eyes on him. Learn to hear his voice and to follow his peace. And that is where you'll find yourself. I wish you all many blessings if you've watched it this far. Thank you so much for hearing my heart, for hearing my story, and just for being a part of my journey as an artist. Thank you.